My name is Andy Aubrey, and welcome to WROK's coverage of the annual Holiday Magic Parade. We've got over 55 floats, as well as musical acts and the one and only Santa Claus, making his first metro area public appearance today. We know you're going to enjoy it. Your hosts for this event are Carlo Giannotti and Pat Capello. So come on back. Stay tuned for an outstanding parade. We'll be right back. All right, Pat, here we are at the 7th Annual Holiday Magic Parade. Are you as happy as I am to be here? I'm thrilled, Carlo, and I'd like to welcome all the tens of thousands of people who have joined us for this 7th Annual Holiday Magic Parade. This is going to be a great one. This is, uh, as I've said, the 7th Annual, but I think there's going to be at least 20 to 30,000 people here, and I see some of the first uh, units coming down the street here. Yes, I think we're going to start off with our honor guard, uh, and our representatives of the Royal Oak Police and Fire Department. That's correct. This is Royal Oak Police Department, uh, Royal Oak's finest. And this is never, it, it, it's always a parade when you have the police department here. Here we go. Let's give them a big round of applause. Following the, uh, the police truck there, you've got the, uh, the honor guard coming down, Royal Oak Fire Department honor guard. This is the police department, actually. They do a wonderful job of representing us in the parade. And there they are with the flag for the U.S., the state flag, and their honor flag. Bunch of very dedicated men there. And of course, the uh, overseeing the uh, fire department, the Bronto there. Yes, rescue engine number 92. Just the people I want to see when I have a health issue. Of course, there's always a couple fun facts to talk about uh, the Royal Oak Fire Department. 1913, did you know that that was the first time that uh, they became a full-time paid department? I was there. <laughs> I was as well. Oh, well, you got all the lights going, the truck's all looking clean and ready for Christmas. My favorite part, the honking. <laughs> You know, Pat, this is a great parade. While the fire truck's passing by, you know, this parade is, in fact, sponsored by the DDA, organized by the DDA, and put on by the DDA. Yes. And while everyone is down here, they should take a look at all the store windows because there is a storefront decorating contest. And when's that coming up? Um, that's going on right now. Oh, okay. And the winner will be chosen uh, after November 26th and uh, there will be a gift certificate from the winning store. So make sure you go online to DetroitMagic.com to vote for your favorite store. And you can vote until uh, November 26th. Vote early, vote often. <laughs> well, in fact, uh, here come some members from the DDA there. I see Luigi and Bill Harrison. Carrying the banner for the Downtown Development Authority. Great group of people. Very good. They work very hard. They volunteer for the city and work very hard to make the downtown a better place for shoppers. 55 parade units going to be in this parade this year. Oh, a long one. That's a big one. Good. Well, it's a very brisk day, so. It is. My fingers are numb already. <laughs> and my feet. I'm sure more people are hoping our mouths go numb, but. <laughs> well, until they do, let's introduce the Caber Fay. It's always one of my favorites. Bagpipes. Let's listen to them and see what they've got for us. The Capra Fay Pipes and Drums, they were formed in 1993, Pat. And they compete in a lot of pipe and drum competitions. Gotcha. Gotcha. Here's Honor Flight Michigan, founded by Royal Oak's own Dave Cameron, who passed away this past year, sadly. It's a very, uh, very memorable group. They're 
of course, unpaid and volunteer, and they've escorted almost 900 Michigan World War II heroes on 20 exp all expense paid, not one dime out of the veterans' pockets. Very worthwhile organization. So if you have a little extra cash, they can always use your financial support. And Pat, look at this. This is the giant uh, U.S. walking flag. It's 40 by 60 feet. It's being carried by a mix of Boy Scouts and veterans from all over Royal Oak. It's wonderful. It is just wonderful. Well, it shows the importance of the flag to the people of Royal Oak. Oh, yes. Okay. Do you know they ride their own horses, Carlo? That's great. I just think it's wonderful that they have horses and that they happen to have a job that puts them in that. Good. Hey, why the long face? Oh, never mind. They never want to they ever want to break up into a full gallop, do they? No, not on a regular basis. Okay, well great to see you out here. You bet. Thanks, Andy. That was great. And horses are very useful for controlling crowds and many other functions. Anchor Bay School Marching Tars. How many members do you think uh, make up this marching Oh, band? at least 200. I would think so. They have been named one of the best 100 communities for education in America. Let's hear Anchor Bay. Sure. Okay. <laughs> that was, of course, the uh, Anchor Bay School Marching Towers. What a great band they are! You know, they were named one of the 100 community best 100 communities for music education in America. And they have played everywhere, not only in this state, but they've been in Chicago, Cleveland, Toronto, St. Louis, New York, all the big places, and Walt Disney World, and now, where I'm going after the parade. And now Royal Oak. What have we got here, Pat? This looks like the. Uh, the gift of life. It is. <laughs> this float, of course, represents the gift of life, uh, Michigan, based in Ann Arbor. Right. And it's a, a great thing to consider organ and tissue donation. Everyone can have that. There's a box on the back of your driver's license. You need to only check it. And if something should happen to you, you can donate your organs to someone who really needs them. And this that float was uh, built by the Saunders family of Richmond and uh, was built in memory of Kylan Sanders, Saunders. Now we've got the uh, Helen, this is the Helen Keller uh, Elementary School Girl Scout Troops. Interesting fact about uh, Keller School is that uh, it is one of Royal Oak's only international baccalaureate elementary school. Did you know that, Pat? I, I did know that. Um, I, I think it's wonderful that we have an international baccalaureate school. So it helps the students progress in areas that they wouldn't normally have in, an, in another school. And right behind them, we have the Four Seasons Preschool, taught by two wonderful teachers, Mrs. Robb and Mrs. Olinsky. They are located at the Royal Oak Senior Center, so I see them all the time. They have a great interaction, the kids and the seniors, and I think it's a beneficial program. Look at all the happy, smiling faces here. Just waiting for Santa Claus.
looks like the wagon brigade, doesn't it? It does. They're Every, all bundled up and looking warm, too. Yep, decorated wagons, undecorated wagons, one like a sleigh, and they're all wearing great hats like you and I have, Carlo. <laughs> This oh. is, of course, the Harmony Acres Arabian Parade horses. Yes. Yes, and I see astride the white horse, Tarifa, is Nancy Harm, the Arabian horse breeder and psychology professor. She has made her own methods for training these horses, and Tarifa, that white horse, can perform over 60 tricks. Sounds like me. Pretty amazing. He's, wor <laughs> he's world known. 60. I know you have at least 60 in I'm your repertoire. I'm working up to 60. I, I've seen some pretty good ones just recently. <laughs> Here's the uh, our credit union. Of course, uh, they are a proud sponsor of the parade today. And it's uh, the nice thing about the our credit union. It's a uh, member owned and full service financial institution. And they've been serving our community for 49 years. And as always, I encourage the uh, people of Royal Oak and people that are listening to this to go visit the Royal Oak. Open up an account. Put some money in there. It's a great place. Or take some out. Take some out, right. Hopefully you put some in first and you have an account. I like to start with take, <laughs> stay, taking them out. Oh, the juggler. Very talented. Yeah, the group that's passing us right now is, of course, the uh, Stage Crafters, and they've got a wonderful, wonderful uh, group of young children here putting on the uh, youth uh, theater. They're promoting their upcoming production of C.S. Lewis, The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe. Narnia. That was a great movie, so I'm sure it'll be a great production. And let's all go down and see it. It's, it's showing at the... St uh, the Baldwin. The Baldwin from uh, December 11th through the 14th. Right. At the beautiful Baldwin Theater. And if you want tickets, you can go to www.stagecrafters.org. Now we have, coming up, Goodwill Industries. The Goodwill Industries banner. Oh, here's, here's another one of my favorite. These guys and oh. their small little cars. This is, of course, <laughs> the Muslim Shrine Lancers. Yes, they drive so children can walk. And there, uh, that of course is the uh, reduced model of the 1988 Plymouth Prowler. I don't know how those guys get in those. How do you think they get in there? I think they start three days early and use lots of grease. Grease. <laughs> lots <laughs> of grease. Their director is David L. Talbot of Royal Oak. And they love to be here at this parade. Let's watch them zoom around here. I think next year we're going to see Quisenberry in one of these, flagging them down and ticketing them. <laughs> Got to build that revenue. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Here's they their just, famous uh, figure eight they're, they're pulling here. They see seem it. to be having a good time. I heard they can do over 60 tricks also. <laughs> what a great demonstration. And of course, all the good work they do is for children. That's true. Let's not forget that uh, you know each one of those guys own and maintain their own car. And their motto is, we ride so children can walk. And what a noble goal that is. And they're still buzzing around, too. Now here we've got, uh, Pat, we've got the uh, Royal Oak First United Methodist Church. And they're dressed in... Uh, period garb to, to help us remind what this holiday is all about. They're representing the Bethlehem Marketplace. You know, that's a great event. Have you ever done that? Where you can actually walk through uh, an ancient city right there at the, uh, at the church and you'll have um, period actors as they are now, dressed I, as you might see it back in the old days. I so haven't, but I'm sure it's a wonderful afternoon and everyone is welcome at the free event on this Sunday, December 7th from 2 until 5. Well, that's not this Sunday. That's next Sunday. December 7th from 2 o'clock till 5. Well, by the time this airs, maybe it'll be next Sunday. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. But I would encourage everyone to uh, come out. And, of course, uh, following the uh, Methodist Church is Noir Leather. <laughs> oh, yeah, Noir Leather. It's been around for 25 years. <laughs> They're celebrating their 25 years in Royal Oak. Proud business owners. It's a good place to stop by for a unique holiday gift. Right. 
you know, following uh, following the uh, float, we have the Love Masters, and they're playing a special song with a rock and roll twist from Noir Leather. Love Masters have been around for about 15 years, and they're associated with Noir Leather. What a great song. I'm sure they, Santa would dance to that. And you too, Carlo. I'm dancing right now. By golly, you are. If you could only see me, you'd see <laughs> I was dancing. <laughs> There's the Love Masters. <laughs> Got a little problem in front of the studio booth here. Uh, one of the uh, Royal Oak residents have become a little rowdy. <laughs> A group of very, very talented people from Noir Leather. I love the stilts. They are some tall people. Yes. You can buy those stilts at Noir Leather, too, I think. <laughs> and here we are. These are the love masters. Yeah. Let's listen to them and hear what they have to say. <laughs> Well, you know, Pat, uh, where the Love Masters are, Santa's not too far behind, I would imagine. <laughs> yes, yes, that's where Santa always wants to be, is in close proximity to the Love Masters, because he knows that a lot of people come to Noir Leather for that perfect holiday gift. <laughs> Have here, oh, Carlo? this is uh, the this is the Chamber Rocks. That's uh, Chamber Rocks put on by the Chamber of Commerce, and of course, each one of these members is a businessman playing their instrument of trade. I see some uh, bed pans out there. I see some buckets. There's a shopping cart. I think this is a group that took. Uh, remember last year we had the uh, briefcase for grade. Oh yes. Right. Okay. So this is another the, a precision drill team. Right, but they're using bedpans and buckets. Buckets. Yes. And of course, uh, they were trained by the uh, Detroit School of Rock, a fellow Royal Oak uh, Chamber member. Okay, bring it on. Let's listen to them. It looks like they're going <laughs> to perform, Pat. They're having a great time. I can see that. Those may must be the people from Beaumont there, I would say. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's uh, see what Andy, I think Andy's picked up uh, an interview here with one of our uh, officials. Officials? Carlo, what are you kidding me? We got the, offi the official list of all officials here. Police and fire, stand back. Gentlemen, how are you today? We're doing great. It's a great day in Royal Oak. Uh -huh. And we pray for no fires while all the fire trucks are in the parade, right? That's right. They are in service. <laughs> okay. Good. And, uh, well, here comes Paws. Look out. And we got Paws in the house. Detroit Tigers' very own. Pause. We love you, brother. Unbelievable. Not too often the, the police chief and the fire chief get upstaged by the Detroit Tigers, but it, no, I wouldn't say that. Uh, you guys, it's great to see you both out here today, though, and uh, happy holidays to you both. Happy holidays. Uh, this is just the beginning, and uh, it's really nice to see the crowd out here. This is a great crowd and a great Royal Oak tradition. Absolutely. And happy holidays to you, Chief. Same to you. Carl, back to you. All right, thank you, Andy. I'm going to talk to the chief about being out of uniform when I see him on Monday, but uh, he's experiencing the Christmas feeling like we all are at this oh, time. Oh, Carlo, here comes Candy Band, my favorite. And there we have these four ladies who formed this band so that their kids didn't have to li listen to smarmy music. The kind of stuff that I like to listen to. Yes, and they're named after Candy. So there's they're Starburst, Kit Kat, Almond Joy and Skittles.
Okay, that was great. We listened to the Candy Band. Uh, remind everybody if they want to visit their website, it's candyband.com. And just as uh, we were listening to the Candy Band, we uh, had the Royal Oak High School homecoming king and queen drive by, and I think we should give them a quick mention. That was uh, Yaya Oki, the king, and Sean Berry. Or the other way around, I'm sorry, it was the queen. Yaya Oki and Sean Berry. Congratulations to both of you. There they are right there. Royal Oak High School homecoming king and queen. And following them is the Royal Oak High School senior. This is a float, I think. I think this is a varsity hockey team. Oh, that is the varsity hockey team, okay. Under the head coach of head coach A.J. Pulaski, assistants Dave Parker and Steve Janowitz. And of course, leading the uh, unit, that's Danny Cowan and Anthony Kirkarski. Danny Cowan, of course, is the son of former Mayor Dennis Cowan. Yes. The team members this year are dressed as Elvis with Rock Around the Christmas Tree being played. And I think maybe we'll be quiet and we'll let them listen to a little bit of the music. No body checking out there, fellas. <laughs> they look like they're having a good time. Okay, so there won't be any music from these guys. Air guitar, <laughs> the ultimate air guitar, the blow up guitars. But I think right behind them, Pat, we do have the Royal Oak High School marching band. All 61 members under the direction of Mr. Tim Foreman. And this year they're playing a medley of Christmas carols. Now I bet you that we should probably stop talking and let these guys uh, share their wear with us. What do you think, Pat? Okay. the varsity JV and dance team, the one and only? Yep, they do the halftime shows and the football and the basketball games all year. And you know, both these teams have competed uh, locally as well as nationally. The Royal Oak uh, High School varsity dance team will compete in a national dance team championship on January 31st in uh, your favorite place, Walt, Walt Disney, Disney World. World. Yes, bring it on. <laughs> And Girl Scout troops, troops, I can't read all the numbers, but 1251 and 1882 I can read. There's a whole bunch of them out there with the little reindeers following behind. Right, from Adams Elementary and Royal Oak Middle School, Girl Scouts. Hi girls. It's always great to see these guys out there. They're all dressed in red and white ponchos and antlers and Santa hats, and they're all having a good time. I see some glowing noses out there, too. There's a couple <laughs> Rudolphs. <laughs> yes. Scouting is so important to Royal Oak. Well, you know, that's what this parade in this downtown area is all about, about the kids out here. Yes. And about the sense of community. Well, Pat, what do we have here? We have the Redford Township Unicycle Club. 34th year in a row they've uh, been performing. Yep, since 1975 when they were first formed, they parade throughout southeastern Michigan. It they started as a neighborhood activity, but um, now they've drawn people from Milan and Roseville and from all over the country, I think. I think so too, and each winter they offer classes for beginning riders. And I don't want to spoil any surprise, Carlo, but I think Carolyn's getting you uh, some beginning lessons this year. 
She got me the big tall one. I'm still trying to figure out how to get up on top of that. Uh, yep, you're getting signed up for it. So next year we might even see you in this parade. You won't <laughs> be dancing anymore. I think you'll be riding, riding in style. You know, this is a specialty unit in uh, the Thanksgiving Day Parade that's coming up. And uh, anybody wants to visit the club's website, they can go to www.rtuc.org. So they stop here in Royal Oak, and then they go downtown and perform in the parade down there. I'm sure they're a very popular parade draw. Oh, look at their formations. Look at that guy. He looks like he's having fun, doesn't he? How wonderful and talented. Yes, we could have gotten a little high five there. <laughs> To me, that's just amazing, Carla. I, I don't think I could do the small single wheel, let alone. That has to be 12 feet tall. Oh, at least. How do you get up there? And more importantly, how do you get down? I don't think he does. I think he just stays on that all year long. It's going to be difficult to sleep in that thing, though, I would imagine. He's, he can go put his face right up in the camera up there on top of the WROK. Right, he can bring her a cup of coffee. <laughs> I think we're going to see some rope jumping, too. That is uh -oh, amazing. And go. juggling. Amazing. Amazing. How do they do that? I, I don't know, but if Carolyn gets you that for Christmas, I think we'll get an opportunity to find out. <laughs> you can share those professional secrets with all of us. <laughs> that I'll do. I'll be glad to do it, too. Well, we've got six salons scheduled to come up next. And yes, we do. I took a little peek down. I don't want to ruin the surprise for anybody. We've got Six Salon, a proud sponsor, another proud sponsor of this year's parade. They're located right here in Royal Oak at 306 West 6th Street. And they also have locations in Birmingham and at the MGM Grand in Detroit. And they've also got a website, just like everybody does now. You Except can visit you and me. <laughs> All right. We've got the uh, Borgo dance team. They're going to do a little show. Let's watch them here, Pat. Excellent. Okay, you know the Borgo dance team, that's a, a non-competition, non-audition. Um, you know, the Borgo studio's been in Royal Oak for over 70 years. You knew that, didn't you, Pat? Yep, and okay. they let everyone come. You don't have to try out for it. Uh, and, and they don't really do competitions, but they do very nice events like this. These gals have been out here since before 9 o'clock practicing their routine. So I know they have a lot of different ones. We just saw one example. They, they, look do like a, having, they look like they're having a lot of fun, and they've also played at Pistons games as well. They do a wonderful job. And the girls look like they're having such a good time. Over here we've got the uh, Good Ship Lollipop. This is always a great event, great unit. Big, Excellent. Big yellow uh, airplane with propellers and everything. That'd be a great place to ride, but that that uh, gentleman up on top doesn't look like he's wearing a seatbelt. Where's <laughs> Where's Jay Quisenberry? Should we report him? <laughs> I hear a lot of noise coming down the street, and I think that might be uh, Luther Badman Keith. I think I might be right. Say goodbye to the good ship Lollipop, and here comes Luther Badman Keith. This is his fourth year, Pat, the Holiday Magic Parade. Yep, I think we've seen him all four years. We just had uh, City Manager Tom Hoover come up and join us. Hello, Mr. Hoover. You can't hear or see him, but let's listen to Luther Badman right now. We 
also had James Payton on the saxophone, Keith O's on guitar, Daryl Lee on the bass, and Milton Heavyfoot Austin on the drums. Woohoo! Luther's been a staple for this parade for quite a while. And right behind Luther, we've got the Detroit Metropolitan Soapbox Derby. Wow, look at those great soapbox cars. Derby, what, what do you call those, Carlo? Soapbox Derby cars, <laughs> I think. Good, very good. I knew I could count on you to have the technical term. <laughs> That's why I'm here, Pat. That's well, why I'm here. And it's such a big thing. It's such a good activity for, for children of all ages to get involved in the Soapbox Derby. You know it's an official event for NASCAR. That's true. And right next to NASCAR, this is the greatest event uh, of the year. It's the greatest amateur racing event in the world. In fact, I used to build soapbox derbies when I was a kid. Did you? I know I helped my son with one in the Boy Scouts, but they were the, mid, the very small size. Here we've got the Royal Oak Children's Choir. Always a good thing. This is the 12th season. Uh, they rehearse at the St. Paul Lutheran Church in Royal Oak. And some of their holiday performances, other than this, are the Royal Oak Tree Lighting Ceremony. December 4th, by the way, at Farmer's Market. And they're going to be competing in music at the park, at Cedar Park in May. So for those of you who go to Cedar Point, go there next May and listen to the Royal Oak Children's Choir. I think they may per be performing right now. That's what it looks like. Let's, uh, let's see if we can hear them. It's going to be hard to hear them. I think there's a band behind them. Well, they look like they're having fun. Aren't they it. great? Look how cute they are. I want to remind everybody that the uh, Royal Oak Children's Choir are going to have their holiday concert December 12th at the St. Paul Lutheran Church. And don't forget the tree lighting ceremony on December 4th. That's it's cool. worth saying once, it's worth saying twice. You know, while we were listening to them, the Royal Oak Restaurant Association, another proud sponsor. Uh, well, here they are right here. We can see them on our TV. Royal Oak Restaurant Association, another proud sponsor. They were created in 2001 to promote and strengthen the hospitality industry. Great group of uh, men and women and dedicated uh, Royal Oakers. by author Laura Numeroff, the same author who did If You Give a Mouse a Cookie, and my favorite, The Chicken Sisters. You've read that, haven't you, Carl? I don't remember that one. No? I no? was wondering when this float was built. Do you remember what year this was built? I think it was around 2000, but it's timeless in its, in its classic lines. Oh, Here's Cast, Cast Tech. Tech. High School Marching Band. Let's listen I'm to him perform. playing the band. This is their fourth year in the Holiday Magic Parade. And like many of the bands that we have in the local area, they've played nationally. Cast Tech's played Florida, Tennessee, Virginia, Texas, Atlanta. I could go on forever. DC. <laughs> they were established by Ms. Sharon Allen in 1990, and they're known as the Baby Boom from the North. Just a wonderful performing group. And here we have the Northward Girl Scouts. Grades two, three, and five dressed as presents. Oh, I see one I'd like to have under my tray. <laughs> you know, Pat, they're not only out here uh, the 
Daisies, bringing up the rear. The Northwood Elementary School Daisies. Oh, this has to be the Detroit School of Rock and Pop. This is Music Lessons on Steroids. Did you know that they have a studio? And it's uh, artwork in their facility here in Royal Oak in Washington? Of course, you've been there. You know, we had a, I wanted to mention about the Northwood Girl Scouts uh, before we got drowned out there, but uh, they're not only <laughs> singing today, but they're collected, they have collected mittens for the Salvation Army bed and, and uh, bread truck. Yes, and I think in December they're going to be decorating and delivering cookies to those in the service fields, like firemen and police. What a great, what a great service they'll be providing. What's up, everybody? That was, uh, that float that we're seeing there is uh, Santa's Castle. Has anyone seen Christmas? This is, uh, represents new technology in folk art float building business. Try to say that uh, 10 times. <laughs> yes, I don't think I could. <laughs> you gotta be careful. <laughs> oh, here comes Tangerine Moon Productions. They specialize in dynamic era specific tribute bands. Their productions have become known as the home of Detroit's biggest acts. Ooh. Let's listen to these guys. Rip it. Rip it good. <laughs> hey, who said we weren't him? <laughs> Nobody to our face, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Recently. Right. In the last 10 minutes. Well, we've got the Royal Oak Optimist Club here. This is another uh, great organization, sponsor of the parade. See a bunch of familiar faces out there. Oh, my gosh, that is They do such good work, and how wonderful it is to be optimistic all the time. It is. Sometimes it's difficult. But they do a good work around the city, and uh, we're proud to have them in, as the sponsors of this parade. And every year they win the participation contest. Well, at... look what we have here. Oh, we have reindeer, so you know what's coming reindeer. up next. Yes, that's that's Dasher and Dancer. And who do we have coming up? The best part of the whole parade. Oh yes, Santa and Mrs. Claus in the sleigh. Absolutely. And for you stylistas out there, I talked with Mrs. Claus before the parade, and she is wearing Armani, Armani Velveteen, <laughs> with Prada boots. Here he is, the man himself, Santa. Well, how you doing today? I'm doing just fine. I love it in Royal Oak. Plenty of shopping, plenty of places to eat. Oh, ho, ho. I brought the missus with me this year. I want to say hello to the mayor and his wife, Jim and Jody. Thanks for inviting us. And Carlo and Pat for doing such a fine job. Hey, you kids, remember, eat those vegetables. Make that bed and do your homework. Oh, Merry Christmas to everyone. Oh, and don't forget, I need some milk and cookies left out. And the remote and the TV guide. I like to watch and take a little nap. Okay. Thank you, Santa. Merry Christmas to you. Mrs. Claus, have a great holiday. Carla, Pat, back to you. And a Merry Christmas you, to Andy. you, too, Santa Claus. You know, Santa Claus continues to be a tradition of making this his first stop in the world. He's right here in Royal Oak. And, uh, Pat, you know, that visit uh, visits with Santa Claus immediately following this parade at the uh, Baldwin Theater at about 11 o'clock. Bring the kids out, bring the adults, and Santa Claus will be more than happy. Right, and, the, and so there was a, 
a banner with all of our sponsors, thanking everyone who helped sponsor this parade, because we certainly couldn't do it without their sponsorship. There's our credit union, the Royal Oak Restaurant Association, Six Salon, Walgreens, Michigan and Play Magazine, World of Earhart, and Glasso. And remember to come shop in downtown Royal Oak where you can find almost anything, and it's the home of unique gifts, not to mention the uh, best restaurants in southern Michigan. And uh, shop early, shop often as we see the end of the seventh annual Holiday Magic Parade. Pat, it's been a pleasure. Me too, Carlo. I've enjoyed every moment of it, and everyone have a great Thanksgiving and a very, very happy holiday. That goes for me as well. Thanks to Andy out there. Andy couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Royal Oak. Yes, thanks. Have a great holiday season.